Students in the Augusta School District will soon have the opportunity to learn about solar energy firsthand. The school district is putting up solar panels on the elementary school as a way to incorporate alternative energy in their curriculum. We, we don't think it's going to save us a whole lot of money. If we break even in the long run, we'll be happy with that. The district is one of the first in the area to start using solar energy. The eight solar panels will only account for a very small percentage of the amount of energy the school district needs. But Augusta School District Superintendent Stephen Lefebvre says it's the educational value for students and the community members that matters. And it's a pretty big statement when you drive down Highway 12 and you see these panels on a school. You know, it's like saying, hey, they're really, you know, taking this serious. In addition to the solar panels, an informational kiosk will offer students the opportunity to learn about the benefits and savings associated with solar energy. Students will be able to um, monitor the readings, be able to see what type of energy is being produced by the solar panels, um, how much we're saving. Augusta School District Administrative Assistant Kay Goss says community members are excited about the project. She says the solar panels are bringing positive energy to the district. You know, this is a really great idea. It's nice to see that our school district is looking at ways of saving energy for our district. So how does solar energy work? Zeus Stark of Next Step Energy says solar energy works a lot like a battery by using conductors. When the sun hits the cells, it starts to aggravate the electrons and creates electricity. Stark so says many people are turned away from the solar energy because of the startup cost. The original cost of the project for the Augusta School District was around $70,000. Augusta School District business manager Kathy Olson says the project became affordable after utilizing available grants. Well, that brings that total down to just about half of what the original panel cost would have been. Stark says the elementary school will mostly use the solar energy to heat and cool the school and may not see any savings right away. But Lefebvre says the project is a step in the right direction. This is, this is an investment in the future.